Dear students, this is module number 37 for the subject of a strategic human resource management. With the beginning of this module, actually we are also starting the new chapter. Chapter number 4 from your primary textbook. That is the strategic role of the HR functions. We will talk about each function of the HR and in this perspective, in the first module, we will talk about a new mandate for HR departments. A new mandate. What you are asking or what you are expecting or what HR should do. So in this module, uh, before we talk about this module uh, formally, let me first talk about the learning objectives that after completing this chapter number four, what you should be able to explain or analyze or evaluate. So the first learning objective is after completing this chapter. These are ch uh, chapter learning objectives. After completing this chapter, you must be able to explain how the evolution of HR functional roles has influenced the HR department today. So we will explore this evolution of the HR throughout our uh, course or throughout our module as well. Uh, outline the elements of CIPD HR profession map. What is a CIPD? We will talk about in a minute. Critically evaluate the main frameworks and models that have been developed to analyze the role of HR function. Uh, this subject of a strategic human resource management is full of a lot of concepts, models, and theories. I hope you understand the difference between the concepts, models, or frameworks and theories. Theories have a set of assumptions or set of prediction about the relationship between the two things. For example, the social exchange theory, one of the dominant theory in the field of a strategic uh, human resource management or in the field of social sciences is that uh, social exchange theory or theory of reciprocity it suggests that if you do good with other people, reciprocally, the other people will do something good for you. So this is a theoretical assumption and its characteristics about the two people relationship. So similarly, when we talk about the concepts, they are vague and they are ambiguous. So different people possess different set of assumptions about the concepts. When we talk about the models, it has a set of relationship between different variables or different ideas and you believe that they work together in an organization or in the market. So critically evaluate the main frameworks and models in the field of strategic human resource management. The next learning objective is to develop an insight into the role conflict experienced by HR professionals. HR professionals जो हैं, वो कौन से role conflict जो हैं, experience करते हैं, when they are managing both employees and the employer. It is a very complex and not easy to maintain or not easy to organize or tackle uh, with for the HR professionals. We will see anyway, what are those issues. Understand the different structural arrangements available to HR departments and recommend alternatives, appreciate the factors that influence structural decisions of an organization, and the last learning objective is to evaluate the factors that impact on the changing role of HR department. To achieve or to accomplish these learning objectives, objectives we will um, discuss these concepts in this module or in this chapter. The role played by the HR department is a structure and combination, the scope and evolution of the modern HR function. Uh, why we say modern HR, we will talk about that sooner or later in a module. The dilemmas, contradictions and choices faced by HR professionals, the various models of HR roles and the structural choices 
open to HR departments. So these are the concepts. When we have talked about these concepts, we would be able to accomplish or achieve the learning objectives of this chapter. Let's begin this module and let's begin this chapter and perhaps it's all about this chapter. Ulrich 1997 on page 24 posed the provocative question, should we do away with HR? Provocative question simply means something which urge you to respond to it. You cannot neglect it. If you ask a question every time, then you can't say that I don't know. Eventually you respond to it because the person is provocating you. Ulrich posed the provocative question, should we do away with HR? But it is 1997. We need to remember it's a history. Research in the field of strategic human resource management has uh, grown and has reached at a level where we can challenge this question. But in 1997, it was, said, it was said that it is often ineffective, incompetent and costly. In a freight, it is value saving. So indeed, um, already suggested that if I had to answer this question or if I have, I have to take the action, I would say yes, abolish the thing. Why? Unless 1990s or un in, until um, uh, 1980s, what the HR was doing could be simply done by the any professional or any employee in the organization. Just keeping a simple record of employees, their salary and their attendance. So HR professionals are often called upon to justify their activities and explain how they add value in the organization. What is HR today is slightly different than or to some extent greatly different than what it was in the 1990s. We will talk about HR roles in more detail in the few modules. Thank you.